Hey guys, welcome back to Sip, Savor, and Celebrate. I'm Chris. And I'm Devin. And today we've got one of the, one of the older distilleries in uh, Jalisco. This is Arete. They have uh, several different expressions. Um, I've been excited about trying this. I, of course, have already opened this one a while ago. <laughs> uh, very, they have two different lines. They've got the Suave line, and then they've got the regular line. Uh, they do have a unique one, which is kind of fun. We'll get into that here in a second. So what we'll do is we'll drink through the uh, Suave brand, and then I don't have it, but these are actually very, very inexpensive uh, for their standard Arete. Uh, available in Michigan too. That's what you were saying, like twenty bucks. Yeah, for the Blanco, it's only twenty bucks. For the Reposado, it was like twenty-five, under thirty dollars. Uh, very, very, very good price. These ones are a little bit more, but still not bad. I think I spent. Uh, let me pull that up here. Uh, Old Town. So I know Old Town has them on really good prices there. Uh, let me pop that in here. Uh, Arete. Arete, you said you were right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the unique, this one right here is a 375 milliliter. This one was $49.99. Um, the, the Suave Blanco. Uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh, oh, of course, now. Now that I want to see it real quick, it's not there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, they have $43.99. The, uh, where's the Reposado? Reposado is, is actually, here's the Anejo. The Anejo is actually 130, oh, the extra Anejo is $139.99. The Anejo is, uh, $69.99. And then the Reposado was $49.99. So, not crazy price, but they're not... You know they're a little bit above the uh, normal. Cool, cool. And, we're uh, talking about alarm. Alarm. I always do that, y'all. Alarm. We're just gonna start calling these alarms. We're talking about Nam Eleven O Nine or El Lamo, Ooh. which has been making tequila since 1900. This is 100% Blue Weber Agave. Blue Weber Agave. <laughs> it's distilled in. Double distilled in pot, so it must be. It says uh, open. Uh, it's uh, open air fermentation without the fibers, but in for their suave line they use a cement tank. They use a cement tank. So then, is it a copper pot or a steel pot? Uh, it says stainless steel pot, but copper coils for okay. their Arete line. I mean, the nose on this is pretty cool. Um, very bright, very vibrant. The Weber Blue Agave is resourced from the valleys. So this is actually one of the places we might be actually visiting when we go down in, in November. So and they do it all that. in small batches. Which you might say, well, Ship Save Red Celebrate, what is a big deal about it being a small batch versus a big batch? Would you well, care to I would answer that to. question? Yes. Of course. So you would. when and this goes not this goes beyond just right. tequila. This is so bourbons, whiskey. I really tend to uh, gravitate more to the small batches because I think they they have a little more concentrated flavors. They're not so generic. You know, I mean, when you get to this one, this one is really good, but it is also mass produced. You know, this one is not in the cement tanks like these are. Um, well, let's get into it. Let's get into it. We got several to get through, so. First thing I get, I get the agave. beautiful cooked agave. It's um, it's vegetal, very mineral, very tobacco. -y. <laughs> well, I think you might be getting uh, your yes, your, yes, uh, it is. I know that, but very fresh. Like I'm enjoying it. It's like baking spice. Kind of like the ceviche we had the other day fresh. So, yeah. you know, like that cucumber that was in there, a mm -hmm. little bit of lime. Like, I guess that's where I'm going mm -hmm. today. Yeah. Um, almost a little bit of a brine to it, but I think that comes from the low No, he just left. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Salute. Salute. 
Ooh. Oh, that's nice. As you can see, we're just opening these up. I get a little bit of, uh, of course, I, I, I get the agave, but I get like a pepper and a mint. Mmm. Very sweet and palatable. I, and I get very vegetal notes. Uh, even maybe a grass. I'm kind of on the dessert train with this one. And this is just the Blanco, guys. I like that Blanco. Very sweet and uplifting and, and very palatable. It doesn't hit any bitter notes on my palate today. Um, which might potentially <laughs> might potentially be um, he's not going to get me today the tobacco it? that is, is also paired with it today um, alright let's go in it's been a stressful morning so I did pick up you know just a, an easy smoking cigar the the Fat Betty I love the Fat um, Betty's those are good by Deadwood Tobacco so shout out to you guys um, and hopefully they're going to be ordering my favorite one see El Cesar Oh yes, yeah, so, okay, that's right. Never be afraid to ask your liquor store or your your tobacco place to order in stuff that you like. It never hurts to ask, and especially if, they can do it, they'll do it. if you are a face they see repeatedly. Yes, um, for sure. And the conversation I simply had with them is the closest I can get that cigar is Detroit. Can you help me out? He's like, sure. We'll see what we can do. You got you, this hand? Are you talking about this one? I know, right? Here we go. <laughs> so we got the Reposado now. Um, I see actually... Are you sure it's liquor. Reposado? Yes. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I think it's a sip, saver, and celebrate to call it Reposado. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here we go. This one is... Uh, of course, I don't. I didn't say... They, they use a smoke... Uh, darn it. <laughs> They use a, a stone brick oven. <laughs> a smoke brick oven. Right. Uh, honestly, these are our first sips of the day. Um, we've got roller mill. That is a, if it's a white oak, it is a super light or super short age. So um, says, but these have to be newer barrels because they aren't. You would be incorrect, sir. It is used barrels that once housed bourbons in it, and it's white American oak. Hmm. Then I wonder why the color uh, the color is so bold. Because typically you only get the bold color with newer barrels. Well, they might have went longer. You know, they could have went... I mean, you've got the option of going up to 11 months. True. This is their artisan line. So they might be taking their time on it. Um, See, now this... Now this one I'm is starting... Is open to... air fermented in the... Yep. That's cement. Same thing. Which is cool. Yep. But each one things. tells you a little bit about it. Yeah, I like when they put the story on the back. That that really does make nice. They are certified additive free, by the way. So I'm I just get a lot of the Blanco. I get the Blanco, but now I'm getting a slight hint of vanilla in there. A slight hint of vanilla. Well, let's the see. Blanco. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. That is very vanilla. Yep. Yep, definitely cooked agave, vanilla. Super smooth. Maybe some baking spices like nutmeg or clove or something. Mm. I like that. I don't get the baking spice, <clears throat> but it definitely pairs really well with it. I would have asked you would. <laughs> I you know. I even get a little more. I even get some cinnamon on there too. We're putting in just a hair in there just to give us a little taste of that because we got a lot to get through. <laughs> so, you know, one big thing about what we've discovered is, yes, 
tequilas are for sipping and enjoying and and everyone talks about how it makes them mean well if it <laughs> makes you mean you're enjoying it improperly because you're probably shooting it and doing it with the salt and the lime and not really taking a, a, a second to enjoy what has been crafted and please don't over drink to the point if you know that if you drink too much um and it makes you act a certain way maybe maybe you should take a little break off maybe you should take a break from having some spirits <laughs> All right, now we're going into the Nejo. The Nejo. I get, like, dirty locker room underwear. Well, that's quite interesting. So let's see here. Made exactly the same, and it is the same barrel, just longer. So again, if it's going to be an Nejo, it needs to be at least one year, but less than three and uh, shout out to Curiosity Public. Um, I was watching your battles and I saw that the Arete uh, seemed to pair up and, and win a lot of your blinds that you did. So I was kind of intrigued. So because of you, thank you very much. We appreciate it. I grabbed this line because of you. <laughs> and I'm happy about it so far. I do like that Ooh. there is a lot more barrel to it. You get a lot more. I think this is where those like spices come out. in this. I know, right? I get some. Um, I would say a creme brulee. Like I said, I'm over here apparently on the dessert train today. And I'm on the vegetal side of it, but... Mm, it's nice. But I do get like some vanillas and cinnamon and... Almost like a cream ish like a like a creamy sweet cheese or some sort like kind of like I a, don't get a lactic or a cheese oh, wait I almost got too far cheers <laughs> oh that's nice I think that's my favorite one so far and I like them <laughs> they're all really good you don't like it as much I get we're, it we're in agreement on something oh uh -oh. <laughs> it's way too early for us to agree. I know, right? <laughs> this is my favorite one so far. Wow, I like that. Mm. Well, you know what they say. It is a Nejo and XA season, oh, which always goes great with a cigar. So, choose one that you like. If you haven't tried a cigar, maybe it's something you try. Right. Um, go something kind of sweet, full body. You won't be mad. This is not at all a push to turn you all into smokers. No, but it might be something you enjoy. Um, right. Because it does change your palate. It changes the way things hit. It changes the flavors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so far. Man, I'm really liking this one. This is this is delicious. Arete, you've, you've done a great job. And uh, I'm happy. <laughs> Who is our master distiller? Do we know? Mm. Let me go look. Is it on there already? I didn't see it. Um, it is from Alolano is the distillery. Of course, I'm saying that wrong. Today I'm butchering them. It's usually your thing. Yeah, that's why I let you just carry on. <laughs> but as you have seen today, you have so far jumped up than our normal routine with the price. You kind of stole my thunder. Sorry. Which, that's okay, because you know what? That's what co-hosts do. Alright, so <laughs> this... So they, uh, they do make uh, five different tequilas. Ooh, they make Paladar. Remember we did Paladar? I like Paladar. Uh, Arete, Paladar, uh, El Gran Viejo, Express and Agave de Oro. But let's see, does this say who their distillers are? Eduardo Orin. Oh, good, you found it. Or Eduardo Oriandian. O R E N D A I N. So now this says that Nam 1109 is Tequila Arete de Jalisco, is the name of the distillery on this. So that's interesting. They wrote something different on the back. Oh, Lilano. L-L-A-N-O. Since 1900. Okay. 
I, I told you, this was like an old distillery. They've been making this for a very long time and a long history. I like the wax. That's kind of cool. This is the extra Nejo. I don't mind it, except for when it splinters all over the place. <laughs> and then I wear it for three episodes. Ooh, wait. Is this the Grand Cleese? This is the Glen. The Grand Cleese? Okay. Cosse. <laughs> Grand is... Class Exact. Uh, yeah. Class Cleese? Damn, right. how many times did they... They didn't want none of this leaking out. Look, they read um, this twice. Wow. <laughs> but... Now, this is the $140 bottle, so... This is a cooked in 48 hours in a brick oven. Okay. Single estate. Um, from... Tequila Falal is the plantation. Okay. Which means we've now switched... Agave resources? It's still in the valley. I understand that, but it's a different farm. Yep. So it might have a slightly different taste. Yeah. They're still doing it with the open air concrete tanks, and it's still the double still yep. with the, the pot. Everything is exactly the same. Which I've seen a video of somebody, and they have actually, like, everything that they use for this line is in a separate part of the distillery versus what they use for this. For their their lower end. Wow, that is super viscous. Okay. Make sure that I'm empty. Don't want them to. Oh, that's got some. You can get some barrel off of that. I'm loving that factor of it, though. Now you got me second guessing. That <laughs> <I am. laughs> now look how dark that thing is. That thing's pretty dark. I wonder how long they were in there for. Because extra Nejo is supposed to be three That's years and above. Duh. <laughs> three years and above. It says still the white, uh, the American white oak barrels. It's single barrel, used barrels, and bourbon barrels. Is what I get it says. a little, uh, a lot of spice from the barrel on this one. Oh yeah, you do. But I, I like it. I'm not saying I didn't. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> with with a beautiful it's like, like sweet cream caramel. It's like sweet vanilla caramel, uh pepper, uh mint. Uh I lose the mint, but it's very effervescent. That's what I'm calling mint is the effervescent portion. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Is there a little bit of grass in there? I told you I got that grass from in here, one of these two. Right. The vegetal portion of it. But it all rounds out so beautiful. But this is the first one that I'm getting kind of like grass sure. on the nose. Well, you normally got your super palate and super nose. All oh, girl got to be extra over here. <laughs> I'm just messing. <laughs> Any other time I would have a comment to come back at that, but I'm just going to leave it alone today. <laughs> Salud. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Damn, that's delicious. And you know, I mean, yeah, it's 140 bucks, 139 or 140 bucks, whatever. It's not one that you're sipping on every day, but God, that's beautiful. But you could be. <laughs> I, yeah, I can. <laughs> I can. <laughs> I really enjoy that arete. That's that's good. Mm. Mm. The sweetness from the tobacco and the cigar kind of gives me asparagus. Well, on that note. Without the, the without the stinky pee. <laughs> I get the finish of a of a nice peppery. You know, it's almost on the verge of tasting the bourbon that was in there. You know, a nice which sweet, I'm okay with. That bourbon. is absolutely delicious. Mm. Okay, That's so we up. always talk about. How they have a one in three chance of winning <laughs> you as as a customer. Right. What are their chances? What are uh, you thinking so uh, far? So far, I like every one of them. I, I don't have... 
I, I like the Blanco, and it just to me keeps getting better. Like it's it's like good. So better, if you had to skip bad. one, would you skip one? Honestly, no. Really? I I want them all. Because I want I want to use it. I wouldn't have any problem making a nice mixed drink with this. Because you use if you use good ingredients to make your food at home, why wouldn't you make a nice uh, mixed drink using because some great in- ingredients? If you asked me that question back, this is where I would go. Okay. I am sold on those. The repo to me just okay. And was I'm glad. Good, but it didn't bring the same well, now level got, of craft as these. We've got two other reposados. I understand that. To see if you preferred their reposados with these to in place them. I like the line. I love what they're doing with it. I really like the cement fermentation going on here. It gives something to it. So here we go. Now we're on to the the their standard brand, um, not the artisanal. And this one, Old Town's got it. It's, see, they're advertising on Tequila Matchmaker, twenty five ninety nine for that Reposado. This, let's see how it's made. So it is uh, the same agave from the Lowlands. They're using high pressure autoclave to cook it, whereas those were stone brick oven. Correct. Um, this is an autoclave, which big old, uh, it's a power pressure cooker. That's what it is. But it's way better than a diffuser. Correct. You know? um, they crush it using a roller mill. So put it on a conveyor belt, throw it through a roller mill, crush it a few more times uh, for, for ferment- fermentation. It and I is... thought I was having the issue with speaking today. Stainless steel tanks, open air fermentation without the fibers. And they're using... Uh, natural fermentation so because the air even around us the air in, around us has natural yeast in the air and then that's what attributes yeah to it. Or, yeah you know i'm gonna so not make that comment there uh <laughs> but now the difference is again now we're using a stainless steel tank to ferment it versus cement so we're going to see different flavors imparted Correct. because but, and you get a different nose for sure Yep. Um, still not mad at how it noses. Right. So, and they're using the same exact type of barrel. The okay. ad- identical barrels that they're using here, they're using here. So the only thing I see difference is, um, it's just the cement tank versus the regular stainless okay. steel tank. Okay. So let's see what the difference is. Oh, that's so nice. I remember this. It's got some great vanillas and agave. No, I thought this had more spice to it. So a little bit more pepper, a little bit more... Um... See, I don't get the vegetal side that I did with, with this one, though. This one I got, like, grass and vegetal and mineral. This one I just get beautiful cooked agave. Um, <sighs> yeah, some I'm some trying vanilla. to pin down, you know, like... Because to me it is more spicy, but... You think it's more spicy? I do. I, I just I think it has a little bit more spice to it. Um, spice, but it's not talking, just like the black pepper. I'm. Are you thinking maybe cinnamon? I can get a sweet cinnamon from that. Some I vanilla. I was thinking like heat spice, not baking spice. So, okay. I don't like, that. and that's where I'm. I'm running out of words to describe okay. that spice. And that's fair. I, would you call it like a Christmas time baking spices? Like a good barbecue rub spice. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. That's that's where that, are those the are the sweet words. Sweet or the savory side of barbecue? Because I don't get that, but I, I'm curious to. I, I I really ask everybody when they are drinking a a, a nice little spirit of some sort. I, I really want to know what you're getting because I sometimes try to search for it. And I don't always find it. Sometimes I do. I just enjoy it. I, I think, think it's we're on the light spice side of that barbecue, but the the spices are full flight, full effect, not just okay. like one over the other. Salute. Now on the palate. That one's got way more pepper than this one did. 
Um, it's um, a little more heat to it. It feels like there's more heat to it. Yeah, a little bit, a lot, you know, more of that. It's opening up the nostrils and stuff like that in comparison. I thought this one was a little smoother, but this one I got so many different flavors and vegetal and all that. This one I just get beautiful cooked agave, uh, slight vanilla, and then pepper. Not, not knock you out pepper. Still super smooth. And for 25 bucks? Come on. What are you getting? <laughs> Besides jiving to the music of the boat going by, because it is a good song. What are you getting? What the... So I'm definitely getting the agave beautiful forward as it should be. Um, I'm definitely getting all those spices that I got on the nose on the palate. Yeah. Um, it's just like a beautiful like brisket crust. Okay. Yeah, like a like a salt and pepper brisket crust. Sure, sure. There you go. Um, so yeah, barbecue. Back to, back to barbecue. I get Apparently, that. No, I we're get talking that. about barbecue and brisket today, or barbecue and desserts today on Sip, Savor, and Celebrate. Now, here's <laughs> the big question: the suave or the regular bland? Repo de repo. I could run away with both of them. <laughs> I like them. I'm sorry, but 25 bucks, you can't go wrong. That That's just they're, beautiful. They're bumping down um, on the boat over there, which is a great song from the early 2007-ish era. Um, but great music. Um, so, I don't know. Um, honestly, I think I would turn that into a blind. Oh, yeah, right? I would turn that into a battle because... I like. I like this. I don't know about the entire line except for the first repo. I just thought there could be more that could so come then out you of would that. Choose this repo over that repo. I I agree. I do. Okay. Um, but I do think it could turn into a beautiful blind with some other repos that you know we have. Now I'm noticing these are uh, like wood tops with a synthetic um, cork. Cork. This is just a screw top. This one is actually a regular cork. So I'm interested. This is the... This is the unique. You would Rebel. be unique. <laughs> you have no idea, bro. <laughs> I do. We've been way too long for friends to not know that so you now are unique and I'm unique. So do have a unique Blanco, which I didn't know that until just now. <laughs> I saw this and it was. I thought it was a fair price. Um, on Old Town Tequila. <laughs> I do want to take a second to say, make sure you subscribe to us. Oh, gosh, Please yes. hit that bell. Um, we love that you guys are interacting. We, we're loving the amount of comments. Please keep them coming. Um, I know that we just put out the postponement of our tequila night, I'm which which makes us a sad, but um, at the same point, we... We are in agreement that we kind of pushed it a little too quickly. We got a little too excited. Um, so please stay tuned for that because it is going to come up. And um, I think we are also going to start working on the bourbon and whiskey night as well in December. Yep. Um, just so that we can kind of get that going and put that yeah. out there so as well. I'm, I'm thinking maybe November maybe we can do that. So that way we can put it off and then start the ticket sales way in advance correct we did this about a week and a half so yeah like i said we're a little premature not that that ever happens guys you know what i'm talking about um honestly that never happens um <laughs> but i got excited i was thinking well you know everybody's telling me they want to come they want to show up but nobody well we did have people buy the tickets we just didn't have enough, enough to, pay for the venue. to pay for the venue is what the what the venue holder had said so and that's and that's completely all right um i mean you vinnie, gotta know that you're gonna be able to cover your your costs and stuff and so vinnie is that. amazing so you yep. know what we are gonna keep working with him yep um and and he was excited about this and he's excited that that you know we also do the 
bourbons and whiskey. So he's the one who asked us to kind of start thinking about that. So um, drop in the comments. Do you have an unusual bourbon or whiskey that that you really love that is not the same flavors as every other one? That's right. That's right. Um, you know, typically you get the, the tobacco, the vanillas, the spices out of those bourbons. Let us know. Do you have one that's different? Because I I do have one in mind that I do want to bring to that because we just tried it and it is amazing with a unique twist. Um, so we've got those coming up. Um, we're also going to be on the road this week as well. We are going to be at the Jake Hill Dixon Dallas um, concert. <laughs> so check us fun. out there. Um, yep, yep. I would love an interview, but um, we are... <laughs> it's hard to do that. We yeah. are trying to see. However, um, I think his social media is not managed by himself, so that is where we're hitting the roadblock. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Ooh. It's okay. It's fine. So anyways, let's talk about the unique. Let's get back to the tequila. Um, That is a bright nose. Right. So... Um, not much description on Tequila Matchmaker for this, other than uh, they're using the same processes as the regular one. Um, they're using a stainless steel pot and a copper co copper pot and a coil. Uh, American white oak barrels. And there's not much other information about that. Ooh, that is but it smells so different. beautiful once you get in the glass very soft very agave forward i'm wondering what they do differently because they're pretty close and actually i think this one's a little bit darker i don't know arete if you're watching what are you doing so unique ah. <laughs> um. or maybe we'll have to ask him when we go I'm getting a lot of citrus to this one. I have to agree with you. Yeah. It's very bright on the nose. Citrusy. A little vanilla. Yeah, so we go away from, like, the barbecue spice to kind of the fruity uh, yes. dessert yes. side. Let me see what other people are saying that are a little bit different from this. On the aromas, people are getting oak, black pepper, flowers... Caramel, vanilla, cooked agave, bacon spices, and barrel spices. That's what people are saying on the unique. Do you agree with them? Yeah. He was so close to taking out that buoy. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Salud. Ooh. Okay, One word. Wait a minute. One word. What is it? Chewing gum, spearmint. Christmas. Oh, I can see that. So, like, the beautiful nutmegs and and the cinnamons and the spices you get from, like, Christmas. So, here's what people are saying. They're saying they're getting oak, cooked agave, caramel, vanilla, black pepper, baking spices, barrel spices, mineral, cocoa. Okay, I can see that. Grass and nutmeg. I don't get the grass, but I think I get everything else. So if you had to choose one of the repos, because there's three on the table, where are you going? God bless America. Um, I think I like this one. I don't know, is that because I just had it? I would probably have to do a blind to do it. For the reposados. Um, man, they're all really good, but they really do taste different. All three of them taste really different. But I really like this. And I don't know if I like it because it's $25. Or if I like it because of the flavors are just nice and clean and bright. And really taste good in a mixed drink. I do enjoy the vegetalness of this one. It's so unique and different. And the unique one is a little bit on the sweeter side of things. Like, everything from here over is more savory, baking spices and stuff. This has got some baking spices, but it's sweeter baking spices. To me. What are you thinking? 
What's in your head? It's unique. I'm loving the fresh, the mm. the kind of light Christmas. Um, I love the spice between the or the uh, this one. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I was gonna call it the artisanal, but that's this one. Yeah, these are the um, artisanals. This is just their standard. So brand. the standard. Um, ooh, I yeah, the unique is kind of where I'm at. I like that. That's really minty to me. Sweet and minty and, and just it's very fresh. These are a little more heavier, but this is fresh. There you guys got it. I'm sorry, but the whole line, there's not one that I wouldn't recommend. Great price points, great flavors. Check them out. They've been doing it forever, so they better be doing it right. <laughs> yeah, what, 100 and 1920, 24 hours, so 124 years? Yeah. Roughly? Yeah, that's, you're doing it right. Thank you guys, we appreciate you. Re please remember to subscribe. We appreciate that you watch us and we want you to keep on watching us, but hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about us. Maybe even share it on your socials so that way we can build the channel and grow together. But ultimately, I appreciate you and always remember to sip, savor, savor and, and celebrate. celebrate. Salud! Salud.